This is a blend extra. Well, today, a springtime quiche that is perfect for a special occasion, a weekend brunch, or get this, even a weeknight dinner. That is right. Joining us now from the Jones Market in Fort Atkinson is Chef Kate Luloff, the creator of this picture. Perfect recipe. It always is. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Jeff. How are you? I'm doing better now. I love me a good quiche. So you got to tell us what you're whipping up today. So we're making a springtime quiche. We're going to use our Jones ham, of course. So all these veggies are very, um, very right now for spring. So we have sugar snap peas. We've got asparagus because that's very in season. And then we're using some leeks also, which I have sauteing in the pan here. I'm going to add those to my my crust, which I've pre-baked. Always want to pre-bake your crust so that the bottom has a chance to get completely baked so that when you pour that egg mixture in, it's not going to get soggy when you're baking it. So I we, feel Kate that leeks those... don't give too strong of an onion flavor. They just give kind of a nice, you know, warmth. They do very mild. If you like onion, even if you don't like onion, leeks are one of those things you can add. And like you said, it's just going to give it that, that flavor that you, you know, think of when you think of onions, but without that strong onion flavor. So you're absolutely right. Yeah. So I just put my asparagus and my peas in here. We're going to let those saute for a little bit, and we're going to add in some of our ham. The reason that you always want to cook those veggies before you add them is um, for water. So you want to get out as much of that water content as you can. Our hams do not have a lot of water to begin with because we always have uh, no water added. So they're not going to have a lot, but those veggies are going to give off some water. And we just want to give the ham a little bit of color. So. Well, we're looking at several different types of hams. You have this uncured, this family, the dainty ham. I know you've got big hams, yes. small hams, hams, hams everywhere. And they're always certified gluten-free. And they're, you know, yes. there's, they're just so clean what you do. They are whole muscle hams. We don't use any binders or ground trimmings or anything like that. So when you're slicing, it's an actual whole muscle ham. You're not going to get it breaking up on you or, you know, crumbling into little pieces. You're going to get nice, beautiful slices. And no matter how many people are in your family, it doesn't matter if you want a smaller ham, like you mentioned, the dainty or the family. The heritage is uncured, um, no sugar. So if you're doing paleo, that's perfect. All the rest of the hams are using that 100-year-old cure. And then they are naturally smoked. We never use any kind of liquid smoke. And I'm just, I had eggs in the bowl. I added in some heavy cream and a little bit of milk. And I'm adding in just a little bit of cream cheese to whisk while we're talking here. Yeah. So you, you mentioned certified gluten-free. Yes, they are all certified gluten-free. So really, whatever you're looking for, there's something that'll fit. We also have the big hams, the bone-in hams. If you're looking for, you know, a big family gathering, you can you can certainly serve that for, for many people. That will work really well. See, I love it. And you've got recipes for the ham on your on your website, and they're fully cooked. Yes. We've got about a minute left, so you've got to kind of tell us how you're putting okay. this together. Yep, you bet. So we've got our leeks in the pan. Just going to kind of spread those out a little bit. I'm using a mixture of Gruyere and Fontina. If you don't want to buy Gruyere, you can use Swiss cheese. That'll work just as well. And just sprinkle that on. We are going to add in the rest of our veggies and our ham. Mm. Obviously, this isn't all going to fit in the pan. This is enough for probably two quiches. So we're going to put that in the pan here. And then you just dump your egg mixture over the top. That's going to bake up really nice. The reason you add that milk and that uh, cream in there is because you want the quiches are made to be like a custard um, filling or a custard consistency. That looks And then we have cake. our finished product when oh. it comes out of the oven. Lovely. Perfect. Like we said, for brunch, for weekends, or for dinner. Kate, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. You can find Jones Ham at the Jones Market in Fort Atkinson. Or remember to check out the product locator to find what's near you. You'll find this recipe for the spring veggie and ham quiche at jonesdairyfarm.com.